Hello my merry airsofters. We're going to do an airsoft gun review today. Today we're going to do this little beauty right here. It's a KWA M4 Tactical. I'll put a I'll put a link to the KWA website. So I really hate those reviews that go on forever and ever, you know, explain right here is a selector switch. It's good, it works. You have your safe, you have your semi, and you have your fully auto. I never take it off a of fully auto. That's not going to happen here. Apart from that time in which it did. So, right here, it's going to be short, sweet, to the point. This is back up to my primary. So, it's a secondary primary. Of some things that slapped on it. The snakeskin paint job to go with my uber cool seal kits. A red dot sights. That's made by Blackwater, I believe. A nice armament vert vertical foregrip and a tactical duo stock. These are really neat. I like these. I'm also going to put a link to these guys down in the description. So anyway, KWA, amazing internals. It's a version 2 gearbox. Um, hasn't failed me ever. Never, never, never. It's lived up to KWA's standards. Uh, of course you have the normal things on an M4. Uh, KWA style M4, you access the hop-up by pulling back the charging handle. There's a gear that controls the hop-up. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, out of the box, it supposedly shoots 400 FPS with a .2. I don't know what it shot out of the box. I got this on a trade. So, I know now with a .25 it shoots around 350 to 365. Somewhere in that range. Uh, like I said, good gun. It's reliable. I enjoy it. Well, I don't really enjoy it. It's really heavy for an M4. So, if you're not a fan of heavy guns, don't go for this. Go for a KWA CQB, which I had. A M4 CQB rifle, which I had. It's a, also a neat gun. If you go KWA, you have gone the correct path. Uh, their new version 2 gearboxes are simply amazing. You know, you never want to go with version 1, in my experience. Ugh. <sighs> What else? What else? Um, one thing I really don't like is the getting to the battery housing. What you have to do, you see, I I slapped on these rail covers because I don't like the look of. I could probably take those off. That look better. Anyway, uh, you get to the battery by there are screws right there. And these screws are attached to springs. Let me find it. These screws are attached to springs. Which push them out. So. You can probably see that there. Yeah, you can see how the screws are pushed out. Yeah. And then. The rail system comes down. And you'll find your battery connector there. It's a small type connector out of the box. I've been meaning to switch it over to Dean's. And which makes it... A real pain to work with. So, that's really the only complaint I have with it. Um, mags, mags, mag brand mid caps won't work in it without modification, I'm told. Uh, I'm not a fan of modifying mags, so I've always ran high caps and in and M4s because that's what I had when I was a noob. Oh, yeah. I guess that about wraps it up. I'm sorry, it's a really poor review, I guess, but all you really need to know is it is reliable. It's a KWA, you know, what do you expect? So, that. <laughs> uh. Leave me a comment as to how I can do better in these reviews, if you wish. So, there's the KWA M4 Tactical. And, 
that wraps it up. So, have a merry day, my merry YouTubers. Catch you later. Hope you enjoy the review. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to start putting out Airsoft videos every Wednesday after this. So, this coming Wednesday, we'll have another Airsoft video. Because, you know, I'm wanting to branch out into gaming and some music. <sighs> that about wraps it up. So, like I said, rate, comment, subscribe. Check out some channels. If you're into Airsoft, I'll put an annotation of Zepco96 about right here. I'll put Wex's channel right here. And I'll put someone else's channel right here. You know, because... Yeah, these are really interesting channels if you're into Airsoft. And, uh, have a great day. Enjoy. Catch you later.